Aww, animals. Frozen gators? A video released Monday should light on the unique way alligators adapt to icy winter conditions. In the video, alligators in a North Carolina swamp park were seemingly frozen inside a pond with only their snouts visible above the ice. Alligators are ectothermic, which means they don't generate their own body heat and rely on the environment to regulate their internal temperature. Most gators live in temperate climates, but occasionally a bomb cyclone brings in an icy winter and the scaly creatures have to deal. When temperatures reach freezing, gators are known to stick their snouts out of the water before the surface ices over. This allows them to continue breathing as they lower their body temperatures and metabolism, falling into a hibernating state in a process known as brumation. Once it becomes warm and the water thaws, the cold-blooded animals will slowly begin thermoregulating their body temperatures. Days after the frozen gator video made its rounds online, an update was posted showing the gators now out and about, though apparently still grumpy from their winter nap. See you later, alligator. Alligator meets its match, a 10-year-old girl. 10-year-old Juliana Ozo from Florida survived an alligator attack by prying open the reptile's jaws with her bare hands. How gnarly is that? Ozo was with her family at Lake Mary Jane near Orlando on Saturday, May 6th. She was sitting in shallow water in a designated swim area when an alligator surfaced and chomped on her knee and calf. Remembering a trick she'd learned while visiting Gatorland, Osa poked the gator in its nostrils. She then pried the gator's jaws open with her bare hands to free her leg. Osa was later taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening puncture wounds. The gator was estimated to be eight feet, nine inches long. After the attack, it was spotted in the same swimming area and was then captured by Florida wildlife officials. A Gatorland representative said it was a miracle that an animal with one of the strongest bites on Earth released the kid, and they're very proud and happy that Osa learned how to do it at Gatorland. Monster-sized alligator roams Florida golf course. It looks like a scene out of Jurassic Park, a reptile so massive in size it couldn't possibly be real. But believe it or not, it is. The man who captured it on tape, golfer Charles Helms, was putting around Buffalo Creek Golf Course in Florida when he and his buddy caught sight of the gator, which they estimate to have been about 15 feet in length. I think that's two guys in an alligator suit. Helms posted this video to Facebook on May 25th. The men tried to get as close to it as possible to show just how huge the gator was. But while it's an eye-opening sight to most, the staff at the golf course claim this big lug's been around for a long time and doesn't seem to disturb the peace. One employee reportedly said he's more like a mascot for the golf course. By the looks of him, he's probably pretty old and has been eating well throughout his life. Healthy male American alligators in Florida have been known to reach sizes of roughly 15 feet in length and weighing at close to 1,000 pounds. No one at the course is worried about him, but if you spot him, it still couldn't hurt to keep some distance when taking gator selfies. 15-foot monster gator nabbed in Florida. Come and get it. Two hunters on a Florida farm had a more productive Saturday than most, capturing an alligator so big it could star in its own crazy B-movie. Lee Lightsey and Blake Goodwin spotted the monster gator in a cattle pond while on a guided hunt on their farm in Okeechobee. The gator emerged from the water about 20 feet in front of them, prompting Lightsey to shoot it dead. At nearly 15 feet long and weighing over 800 pounds, the gigantic reptile had to be hauled out with a tractor. Photos of the giant catch were quickly uploaded to Facebook, where some thought it was a prank for April Fool's Day. The pair also found cattle remains in the water, which led the men to believe the gator had feasted on livestock, picking cows off Lake Placid style as they came to drink. The men planned to have the gator stuffed and displayed at hunting shows, and its meat donated to charity. Family finds massive gator chilling in their pool. A Florida family had an unexpected visitor drop by their pool on Memorial Day, a giant alligator. The Sarasota County Sheriff's Office got a call on Monday after a family found a big old alligator chilling in their pool. A young lady cleaning the family's pool made the 911 call. Deputy Lori Clark was the first on scene and got some face time with the uninvited pool pal. The alligator was estimated to be around seven to eight feet long. Authorities then called a trapper who was able to get the gator out of the water so it could be moved to a more appropriate location. The video shows the gator thrashing around violently and performing death rolls to try to get loose from the trapper's noose. 
Yikes. 